One of the country's most diverse collections of rare roses is right here in the Bay Area. Yeah, and someone is doing more than just stopping to smell them. Eight on your side's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from Florida Southern College in Lakeland with what's been going on. Stacy. Josh and Stacy, it's actually pretty cool. Florida Southern College started growing roses back in the day to cure them of a disease and it worked. It's now the source for roses all over the world. But the person in charge here says someone out there sees the value in these rare flowers and is stealing them. Rose bushes need to be tended to, but not like this. So this is Pulich children, and on this one, they even pruned it very improperly. Dr. Malcolm Manners, a one-time great rosarian of the world, says Pulich children roses are rare. Nurseries that are getting interested in growing that rose probably are mostly getting their cuttings from us, and we just have the one bush. And that one rare bush was stripped of its flowers in recent weeks at Florida Southern College. Dr. Manners says somebody clipped up to 50 of what he calls cuttings to make a new plant, he suspects. That one did not yet have flowers open, and because they picked that plant uniquely, I think they had to have known that was Pula's children and why they wanted it. Ruth's Rose Garden is home to the most genetically diverse collections of roses in the southeast, supplying nurseries all over the world. It should have flowers all over it. Dr. Manners says a rose bandit also clipped this Safrano rose bush. You can see on most of these growing tips, they've been clipped off. Students say they do not appreciate such thievery. What kind of person goes around and says, I'm going to take these flowers and ruin this beautiful garden? Dr. Manor says he hopes that by getting the word out about this, about how important these roses are, that it will discourage people from stealing them. He says, though, they are considering putting up security cameras. Reporting live in Lakeland, I'm Stacy De Silva, 8 on your side. Well, like many of us, a 